Producing shoulder programming like post-game shows, press conferences, features and highlights of a game or sporting event is becoming common practice among sports organizations, but demand for more content continues to grow. This means making improvements to your workflow from capture to edit to publish can help build your brands, maximize your time, and make your post-production workflows easier than ever. As we know, with post-production, many existing workflows have, for the most part, stayed the same over the past few decades. You send a producer or a videographer on site, they shoot all the necessary behind the scenes pieces, then they need to send those files back to an editor. This usually means delivering or shipping an SD card or a drive to the editor, or finding local internet to upload those files online. These existing workflows can be painful to coordinate, tend to run into unforeseen problems that can cause delay, but most importantly, they take too much time. When it comes to creating relevant content, getting your media back to your editors or social media team as quickly as possible is important. And getting that content out to your fans first can mean a lot more eyeballs and therefore revenue from sponsors. With LiveView's portable encoders and a cloud-based management platform, users can send files back to producers, editors, and social media teams in real time, all at once. But for this video, we're really going to dive into two primary features that users can leverage to get access to content from anywhere as quickly as possible. Store and forward and file transfer. So let's send it over to James to start. Thanks, Janelle. Now, all LiveView encoders have features built for the purpose of moving your high quality content to where it needs to go as quickly and reliably as possible using bonded cellular technology. And LiveView has one of the most powerful cloud-based management platforms on the market today called LiveView Central. This platform provides you the ability to manage and control your encoders, decoders, and files within your LiveView ecosystem. But the products we'll mainly be looking at today are the new LU300S and LiveView Central. So let's dive in. Now, all LiveView HEVC encoders have a store and forward mode built directly into the menu. Store and forward enables you to simultaneously store high quality videos locally on the unit, while also uploading them to a destination MMH server, which could be a hardware-based server or cloud-based. This is leveraged often for post-production workflows. The videographer can be shooting continuously through a broadcast, and within LiveView Central, a growing file is being created. Most importantly, while this file continues to grow, editors logged into LiveView Central can begin to clip and chunk the videos as they're being built in real time. You don't have to wait for the videographer to be done. They don't even have to stop at any point. The editor and the videographer are working in tandem. Being able to create and send an MP4 video file quickly and easily to your editors with no additional setup makes the post-production workflow seamless on both ends. That's no SD cards, no drives, and no extra effort. Additionally, you can provide LiveView Central access to marketing teams, social media teams, or other content teams in your organization who may want that content sooner than the editor for other digital publishing purposes. So FTP or file transfer protocol is a standard communication protocol used for the transfer of computer files from a server to a client on a computer network. All this to say, all LiveView units come with the ability to send your files directly from your encoder in the field back to your MMH server over bonded cellular. You can do this by simply inserting an SD card directly into your encoder or by using a USB drive and navigating to the menu on the unit. Once the file begins to build on an MMH server, as we've said, any user can access those files in LiveView Central. But how fast does this really happen? Well, I have an LU300S here and I have a SD card with some video files on it and I'm logged into my LiveView Central account on my laptop. So I'm simply gonna plug in the SD card to the side of the LU300S like so. Then in the menu, I can navigate to the file section. If you click on there, you'll see that SD card is now highlighted and you can scroll down and choose the files that you wanna send. Once you begin the upload, you'll see an upload icon. Then you can navigate to your LiveView Central account go to the Files tab, and then you'll see as this loads that the file is already being generated in LiveView Central and showing a preview of the file as well. Alternatively, any LiveView Central user can access files from an encoder in the Files tab of LiveView Central and push the file to an MMH server for download. 
So you can simply ask your field videographer to plug in their SD card or USB drive and walk away, leaving you to grab the files you want from the browser. These files get transmitted back to your MMH server using LRT and are immediately available to download in LiveView Central. The beauty of this specific workflow is that you can do it wherever your live unit is, whether you're at a hotel, waiting for a flight at an airport, or in a bus leaving the venue, leveraging our built-in cellular network bonding allows you to have the flexibility to send your files wherever you want and from wherever you are. Taking this a step further, if your organization has a media asset management system in place, you can configure your MMH server on your network to send those files automatically to your MAM system. On a physical MMH server, users can configure a watch folder that can send to a shared drive on your network so that all files from your live view units are immediately brought into your MAM system. You can deliver any type of content, whether that's video, documents, photos, or raw data. And whatever MAM system you have, whether that's IPV, CAT DV, Iconic, you name it, Live you can get your files to your destination, not only reliably, but super fast. As we've said, this is over bonded cellular using LiveU's LRT protocol. LRT was designed and has been developed over the last 16 years to efficiently move live and non-live content over unreliable and congested networks. The ease of use helps a lot too. Not everyone will be an IT professional comfortable with ways to send files and videos over the public internet. The LiveView system can be as simple as handing an LU300S to someone and telling them to turn it on, plug it in, and you'll do the rest. The system has the potential to help build your brand, maximize your time, and make your post-production workflows easier than ever. But don't just take it from us. Hey there, John Rikus with the Minnesota Wild here. I'm the Senior Manager of Digital Strategy I'm Jacob Potter, Associate AD for Video Services here at the University of Oklahoma. Andrew Aaron, Director of Creative Video. We've been partnered with LiveView two, three months before the playoffs started and have been using it throughout the playoffs to help streamline our functions here at the Minnesota Wild. We've been using LiveView since 2012 when we broadcasted our first ever live pregame show from El Paso, Texas. Prior to LiveView, we weren't capable of streaming any content live uh, from remote locations apart from our main campus. Today, we're able to use cell bonded transmission such as LiveView to bring on location content from across the country back to our studios. We use LiveView to edit our TV shows primarily. It helps us send our shoot footage directly back to our production building, which is on campus at Auburn University. But we shoot our segments um, and they are automatically fed back to, to our editor, and he's able to start editing the show. Um, pretty much in real time. Really what LiveView did was help cut down hours of work using the store and forward process. We would be able to shoot immediately, send to a editor at our headquarters right after the presser, or the game, whatever the footage was. And that person there was able to take and, and move that seamlessly to all the different platforms immediately. The store and forward option uh, I think about the cavernous kind of old stadiums that are full of concrete and you don't have good cell phone reception. And in those scenarios, we're able to record the press conference directly to the unit. So then whenever we leave that area, when we get on the team bus, once the unit is able to latch onto a cell signal, it can then automatically distribute that content uh, back here to our remote location. So that really helps us out as well. It, it really saves us time. Um, LiveView has pretty much eliminated the need to edit on the road. Everything we do is just sent back and then the person's able to sit in our in an actual an office and be able to edit. Instead of, you know, you're at the stadium, and it's a rush to get to the plane, it's a rush from the plane to get to the bus, then to get back. There's no guarantee, there's outlets, there's definitely no internet. You're dealing with cards and you could lose a card and it could get kind of messy. But with Live View, it literally is sending everything back to a place where someone can be organizing on top of their game. I'm sending them stuff in real time as we're shooting the show pretty much means the show is done before we even leave the stadium. There was no more waiting for pressers to finish up and getting onto the bus and waiting for an SD card to download. The LiveView unit really saved us all those different pain points throughout our production process and it made it seamless for our editors and for our videographers. The, the possibilities and in, in, in what LiveView can provide is, is something that really could push the boundaries. and. and what it saves us and just the amount of work it saves us makes it so valuable.
If you're interested in getting started or seeing these features in action, reach out to us today or click on the link in the description. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.